Peace and blessings okay. to all the gods on planet Kai. I'll go back. I'm just taking a break. Right. That intermission. So, so okay. Again. If y'all can hear that in the background, y'all know who that is. That's the Godfather Kevin Samuel. Keep him on the screen. I'm just out here chilling today, man. I'm off work. Day off. Me in the pit. Me in the pit. Come here, baby. We out here chilling, man. Yeah, we just out here chilling. But uh, you know me. I came to talk to the brothers, man. Much love and big up and big respects to the Godfather. Kevin Sam. Excuse me, no doubt. Who didn't speak nothing but golden truth, you dig? Before I get into my topic, I want to clear up a couple things. First of all, I want to elaborate on the fact of building a foundation. Elaborate on the fact of erecting a structure. See, in order for you to erect any kind of structure, to build anything, you first and foremost has to have a foundation. The foundation is your strength. There is no building on this planet. Nothing. No building, no house, or anything that wasn't built first without the foundation. It has to have a foundation first. So, I say all that to say this. You know, much love and much respect to all you brothers out there that's rocking with me, man, and subscribe to my channel, you know. I appreciate y'all, man, you know. I don't do this for money. You know, this is genuine, straight from the heart. And I appreciate y'all, man, because y'all are my foundation, real talk. And a lot of you brothers out there, man, are extremely intelligent. I read your comments, and I guess soon I'm going to have to go ahead and invest and get what I need to go ahead and start, you know, get me a podcast, set it up, you know. But uh, some of you brothers out there, man, are so intelligent, man, when I read your comments. I can do a whole live going off your comments and elaborating on the depth, on the depth of what some of you brothers be saying, man. You know, some of y'all brothers deep and each one teach one because I definitely learned from y'all, man, the foundation. Appreciate you brothers, man. One thing I want to get into is, uh, listen here, Big Shirley. Uh, after. I know y'all hated the fact uh, The fact that Kevin Samuels did, did nothing but tell the fucking truth <laughs> And you big Shirley's Hiding behind so, these avatars I'm All in my comment section Want to be disrespectful I'm not Listen doing, there like you said, I had a big Shirley She had to be a big Shirley Hiding behind an avatar You know talking trash um, You know told yeah, me I look 60 thing. years old I mean, You know I tell you Don't let the work attire you Get it misunderstood. You see what I'm saying? I don't look no better damn 60. You can see for yourself. See, I had to shave up or whatnot. I don't look no damn bitter 60. I'm 50 years old. Then she said I was fat and chubby under my clothes and shit. Let me show y'all something. Do you see any motherfucking bellies or anything? Yeah. 50 years old in good motherfucking shape. Anyway, let's proceed. Young man, the first thing I want to elaborate on is, is happiness. And no one understand that. But your happiness is your responsibility. Nobody can make you happy. Only you can make you happy. And women have to understand that shit too. Y'all women have to understand that you are responsible for your happiness. Y'all get in these relationships and y'all expect a man to pay all the bills, to do all of this, to do all the, all of that, and at the same time, fix you and be responsible for your happiness. We cannot be fixing it. 
If you come over across the street, you get into a relationship or get into a marriage, your ass should already be fixed. A lot of y'all get into these relationships and you suffering with levels of insecurity because you was cheated on or you have trust issues and you bringing that shit to your marriage or to your relationship and it's causing problems. No, Fix yourself said, before you try to get into a, a relationship. And I don't blame the guy. I know that it's me too. That's Young man, I want y'all to understand so something. That, that I we are at what you call war. And I know, I know, I understand why I keep And we must understand the different aspects of war. Well, I don't know why you still friends with the guy. See, war doesn't always consist of bombs and bullets. A war can be psychological. So what happens? The powers that be have psychologically attacked black women and weaponized them to stand against the black man. For example, there is no other race of women popping this strong independent up, rhetoric <laughs> that independence hype that strong independence shit is a sunken place in certain aspects y'all need to understand that no other race of women white, Asian, Latino, Japanese Chinese, etc black woman is the only woman who have been brainwashed to separate from their men and pride on being what you call independent black women. Separation, divide and conquer. See, this is what they have been programmed with and brainwashed with. Weapons. They're being weaponized. Black women are being weaponized lied to and set up for nothing but disaster. All my blue collar workers out there, all my blue collar brothers out there, no one understand that you are the salt of this planet. When it comes to the work field, I feel like if, if, if you call somebody trying to be funny, yes. always do better. I say, I feel like of course, somebody, always do funny, better. Don't be Pursue your dreams if you if you and become somebody, business owners. And, you know, and you're really to, you know, always do that. Ask questions or get information or, or chat. But for you brothers out there that's working nine to five, my so, blue collar soldiers, I want to talk to you. Okay. Don't let nobody fool you, man. You are the salt. Well, and you are needed. What, what do you rate me? Food supplies. Is that what we're stuck got to move. Yeah. They got to get to these Did grocery stores. We yeah. all got to eat. And who you think no, pushing these trucks, in bringing in your food food supply? food supply? These blue collar brothers. What have you seen on my but you young women are get on here clips? and try to degrade. Well, the same men well, who's bringing in your well, fucking daily supplies. And then, and you tell them, Appreciate you, brothers. A whole lot. Well, well, Houses are built by laborers. All these are blue collar workers. Heavy machinery. Well, let's start it that way. Yeah. Right, how tall are you? I'm 5'3. That's right. You know, for different right. aspects in your life, <laughs> for different <laughs> needs in your life, heavy equipment, heavy right. machinery. Need to be transported, um, exported. Well, I guess so. Things that we need for our wow. daily lives. Alright. And on a scale of Yet and to still, you, can't be settled, what would you, rank yourself? you modern women try to insult the blue collar guys. You need to be thanking these brothers. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Young ladies, y'all got to understand what men want, they want to hear the truth. And you young women also have to understand, 
you 35, 40 years old, then went out there, lived your life to the fullest. You done had three or four children. Now you say you want to settle down and get married. And on top of that, get a high value guy. That's fucking highway robbery. You take a young man out there who's pursuing his dreams, becoming a business owner, doing what he got to do. Now here you come, want to get with this guy, but you got three, four children. Why should he take everything that he's striving for, everything that he's striving to earn and have in his life, why in the hell would he take that and turn around and revert it back to a family that's not even his? That would be insane. That would be totally ludicrous. Young men, for those of you out there that's working nine to five, you handle your business and you strive to become big entrepreneurs. But don't you never Put yourself in that position as to where you striving hard to be who you trying to be, then you end up in a relationship with a female that got four or five chaps. Everything that you striving for, everything that you earning is going to another man's responsibility. Not only that, you end up getting her pregnant. It's obvious that she done made terrible decisions. You end up getting her pregnant. Then something happened later on down the line. Not only will you be paying child support for children that's not yours. Suppose you marry her. Because see, these modern women, I don't think they're marriage material. Suppose you end up marrying her. Not only can she get your ass for alimony, she can also get you for child support. And you will end up taking care and taking care of every responsibility that was never yours. So, young man, you go out and you pursue your dreams. And when you get with a young woman, you get with a young woman that you're trying to build a life and a foundation with. You procreate. No one understand the four Ps, young man, because your job is to provide, to protect, utilize your provision, problem solve. And her job is really to procreate. But when I'm talking about relationships, no one understand the times that we living in as well. These women. Can you learn anything from What would you teach And. Like one of the brothers said in the comments, man, y'all so intelligent. The brother said, these women want the authority of a man, the privilege of a woman, and the responsibility of a child. Blue collar brothers, don't let nobody fool y'all. Y'all are the shit. And you continue to strive and you continue to handle your business. And for you young women out there that's in a relationship with these young men, you need to respect that shit, appreciate that shit, and show that man the utmost respect. You got you a good ass man, he ain't out here strung out on drugs, out here ripping, running around in the street, sleeping with every Tom, Dick, and hate. He taking care of you, paying bills, doing what he got to do. You need to be respecting that young brother. Let me ask you this, just outright then. Real talk. I do much love and much respect and big ups to the brother, um, Kevin Samuels, well, the godfather. We will keep his name alive. You did? I ain't Kevin Samuels at all. I can't be Kevin Samuels, man. I don't think nobody can never deliver like that brother delivered. But I tell you what, I would do all I can. To keep his talking points alive the best way I know how. Big ups and much respect to the Godfather. Kevin Samuels spoke nothing but golden truth. Real talk.